Hey there and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Today we are making cinnamon and red wine wine. It's an easy recipe with six ingredients. Count them, yep, six. So here's what we need. And this is going to be a good recipe for a winter's day. So, okay. All right, let's get this. You also need a frying pan and a saucepan. I'm just going to use the, the saucepan for the same thing. And let's go. Okay, so as I said, grab yourself a saucepan or a frying pan. Um, probably easiest to use this saucepan. And just give it a spray and a good glug of olive oil. All right, get that nice and hot so we can put the lamb in. What we're going to do is we're going to brown the lamb and then we're going to take it out and set it aside while we start the sauce. So we'll put it on that one at the back there. Okay, come in nice and close. All right, I'm going to go grab those lamb. So I got lamb shoulder chops as per recipe uh, from my butcher. These are absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I'm just going to put it, these in. As I said, only a few minutes on each side. Now I might have to do... No, I should be fine. I can get them all in. Just do a little bit of maneuvering here. Okay, perfect. All right, give them a few minutes on that side. Grab some tongs and flip them over. Now that they're starting to sizzle, and as I said, I don't want to cook them. I'm just browning them. Grab those tongs and just flip them all over. This is not as hard as I'm making it look, it just is. Yeah. Come on. minutes on that side and then we're going to lift those out. Okay, at this point I'm actually going to lift them off the heat so that it makes it easier to lift them out. Okay. Yeah, all right. These are getting stuck. Pop those on that tin plate or a plate. brown enough. Maybe just turn these ones over, give these ones a, a little bit longer because that was pushed off to the side. Okay. Okay, so once you've got all those lifted out, it's just a case of chucking everything in. Okay, so we've got three quarters of a cup of chicken stock. Once you get your chicken stock in, you can put it back onto the hot plate. Keep in mind, I've still got that on a pretty high temperature, so that should be fine. Three quarters of a cup of red wine. I just went to Aldi and brought a cheap bottle. Sure has. All good though. Um, in goes that. That's going to deglaze the pan a little bit as well. With my tomato paste, I normally put it in the freezer and that's definitely more than my one tablespoon. Sometimes I won't worry too much if it's more, but it might just be way too much. So I just stuck that in a bath of hot water, the tub, and even though it's still a bit frozen, I am able to get out 
possibly as much as I want. There we go. It's a little bit over, but as I say, I don't care. I'm not wasting. So that can go back in my freezer. Let's come into the boil. Try and get that off the thing if you can, even if you just wipe it on your lamb. That'll do close enough. Uh, also, it was two teaspoons of brown sugar. This will just help balance the acidity of the tomato. All right, now we're starting to boil. Turn it down. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. And our final ingredient is two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Give that a super good stir. Okay. Excellent. Get in a bit closer so you can see what's going on here. All right, so as you can see, that's simmering away beautifully. We've got a nice red wine aroma coming out of that. So Bring it to the boil, reduce your heat and return your tops to the frying pan and simmer uncovered for 10 minutes. So, you can safely say that we're at the boil. Just place your wooden spoon somewhere where you can grab it later. Pop these back in. 10 minutes we want these to boil for. Look at that. Just try and squash them all in if you can because with it boiling they are all going to cook anyway. There we go. Alright. Put your timer on for 10 minutes. Go and do something and we'll check in soon. Okay, 10 minutes are up. So Grab your tongs, the ones that I've already put in the sink, of course, them very ones, and flip everything over, and then we're going to give it another 10 minutes. Okay. Perfect. Once you flip them all over, just seat them back down again. Okay, excellent. Put your timer on for another 10 and we'll check back in. So after 10 minutes, turn it off, remove it from the stove top. It should be ready to eat. If it's not, just give it a little bit longer. But because I'm preparing this for dinner tonight, all I'm going to do is put the lid on it and let it sit till later. Serve it with some mash and some uh, vegetables and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching Cooking with Violet Vixen. I'm going to catch you next time. Bye!